Dear students, standard seventh, chapter number five, in which we are busy with the exercise number five point two. Question one was done, and I gave you question number two for the homework. Now we are going to start question number three, in which the figure is given, in which line F, P and Q are parallel lines. P is parallel to Q, and one of the angle is given here 125 degree, and we have to find the unknown angles. Means all this A, B. C, D, E, and F. That all numbers, unknown numbers, that is the representing the angles that we have to find the value of them only from the one angle. And here we have to use those properties that when a transversal cuts two parallel lines, then the corresponding angles are equal. Interior angles, I mean alternate interior angles are equal and Interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. All these three will be required, or maybe one of them, two of them. Then it will be very easy. Now look at here. This is 125 degree. Now you can see that this two lines are parallel, and this is the transversal. Now here. If you see that 125 and this F or 125 and E, what are they making? They are making a linear pair. So 125 plus E will be 180 degree. So we can start from that 125. Plus E is equal to 180. Why? They are forming linear pair. It means that E is equal to 180 minus 125. So 10 minus 5, 5. 7 minus 2 is also 5. And 1 minus 1, 0. So value of E is 55 degree. Now we know that when the line crosses, the two angles are vertically opposite angles, and they are always equal. So now T e is equal to F. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. And therefore, value of F is also 55 degree because E is equal to 55. E and F are equal, so we get thus three. E and F get. Now we have to find that A, B, C, and D. Now you can see that uh, angle E and angle A. They are making F. F stands for what? Corresponding angles. So E and A are corresponding angles and they are equal, right? So now we will write down angle E is equal to A. Which are the corresponding angles? It means that A is also have the measure as E and F means fifty-five degree. So therefore, A is equal to fifty-five degree. Now, if A is fifty-five, what will be the C? It is also vertically opposite angle. So you can write down here: A is equal to C. They are also vertically opposite angles. And they are always equal. It means that angle C is also fifty-five. So A and C also we got. Now remaining is D and B. Now you can see that D and F 
interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary so f plus d is equal to 180 degree why interior angles on same side of transversal so what is angle f 55 so d is equal to 180 minus f 180 minus 55 and we know that 180 minus 55 will be 125 so is equal to 125 degree now the last one remaining is b and b will be same as the d because they are also vertically opposite angles so you will write down yourself that they are vertically opposite angles so they will be equal so let's do the question number 4 in which also there are two figures given one by one we will take and we have to check the value of x two lines are parallel given so find the value of x find the value of x in each of the following figures if l is parallel to m they are given let's see the first figure here l and m are parallel lines and a transversal t such that here this angle is given as 110 degree and we have to find here x now we cannot exactly directly find it because they don't make any pair so now what to do we cannot directly find the value f of x but we will need some other angles to find such that we can use any of that property that we learn so one thing is that i'm going to give this as angle 1 then that will be the vertically opposite angle so it will be same 110 and then they will be interior angles on the same side of the transversal they are supplementary so by not directly but indirectly here we have to find so here angle marked by 1 makes pair of vertically opposite angle with angle of 110 it means that angle 1 is equal to 110 now angle 1 and x are angles of pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal it means that angle 1 plus x 
is 180. Angle 1 is 110. So 110 plus x is equal to 180 degree. So x is equal to 180 minus 110. So 80 minus 10 will be, so 180 minus 110. So value of x is 70 degree. The second one you can do for the homework. The second of this question that will you will do it for your homework. Now question number five. Here figure is given in which the two arms of the two angles are parallel to each other. Given that angle A B C means that this angle is given 70 degree and we have to find angle D G C means this one and angle D E F means this whole angle. So this angle and this angle we have to show. Right. Now for our convenience I extended those lines so that you can have the more idea to get the answer. Now here you can see that the line AB and line D E are parallel. And this is the transversal. Then you can see that uh, this angle ABC and angle DGC they are making F and F stands for corresponding angles. So corresponding angles are equal. So we can write down here. Here AB is parallel to DE and BC is transversal. Therefore angle ABC is equal to angle DGC. Which angles are there? Corresponding angles. And we learn that when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of corresponding angles are equal. But angle ABC is given up how much? 70 degree. It means that angle DGC is also 70. Now Consider those two parallel lines, BC and EF, and thus DE is the transversal. Then this angle and this angle also making the F corresponding angles, and they are also equal. So now DC, uh, BC is parallel to EF. And DE is transversal. Therefore, angle DGC is equal to angle DEF. Also, same thing corresponding. So the value of that also equal therefore angle D E F is also equal to 70. Now question number six. In the given figures below, Decide whether L is parallel to M. L is parallel. Whether L is parallel to M. First figure is. L M N 
This angle is given 126 and here it is 44. Now they are the interior angles on the same side of the transverse angle. We know that when interior angles on the same side of the transverse are, are supplementary, then they are parallel. So let's check. So here, 126 plus 44. 6 plus 4, 10. Carry 1. 4 to 6 plus 7. So they are not supplementary. 126 and 44. So 6 plus 4, 10. Carry 1. 2 plus 1, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 170. So here interior angles on the same side of transversal are not supplementary. Therefore L is not So if the sum of them will be 180, then they will be parallel because interior angles on the same side should be parallel, uh, supplementary. Then only it can be parallel lines. Second is L M. N. This angle given 75 degree and that angle also given 75 degree. Now here you can see that uh, the vertically opposite angles of this 75 will be same 75. And 75 plus 75 how much? 150 and they are not supplementary. It means that these lines are also not parallel. So here angle 1 is marked which is vertically opposite with angle of 75 degree at the below. Now angle 1 plus uh, therefore angle 1 will be same Therefore, angle 1 is equal to 75 degrees. So now, angle 1 plus 75 degree is equal to 75 plus 75, 150. Therefore, they are not parallel. Here also same thing that we write down on the top one. It means that those two lines are also not parallel. Now there are another two figures also in this question that you can do yourself and with this we are going to stop today's session and it is the end of this chapter number 5 also which will be followed by the PDF file. Any confusion write down in the comment section. Thank you very much.